90.3 KEXP and KEXP.org. That was the Rosebuds who were just here uh, the other day. Was your name on the Rosebuds record? It was. See, we had them here. I didn't see you. I was not here. It's true. <laughs> it's a lie. You're a liar. Because <laughs> I saw your name on. I also saw Justin Vernon's name on there and a few others. But that's pretty cool. Was he not here as well? He was not here as that well either. Guy. I know, right? Like, who is in that band? I don't what even know. <laughs> Ivan's just making stuff up. That's kind of how he rolls. You are a busy man. We will, we will, we will talk about that. And you can call out whoever you'd like during the interview. Oh, it's going to get real, Good. listeners. I like that. That's what happens early in the morning, especially playing the night before. So, Sylvan Esso is here. I'm super psyched. And uh, if you're ready, take it away. leave that on. I kind of like that. There you go. 9.3 KEXP. Someone else alive here on the morning show. Welcome. Sounding great this morning. Thanks. You're good. You were very busy into the wee hours, I would uh, uh, suspect, last night, right? Indeed. It's not just playing. You got a lot after that as well. The glorious life of the, the band. The glorious, <laughs> you know. glamorous life. It's true. Some very nice <laughs> girls shared some fried fish with me. Oh, that's Did nice. They? While I was loading up the van. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever have a show where you're just... You just killed it, and you're feeling great in the vibe, and then you got to do the work that's not glamorous. It's, oh, I just want this to continue on. Uh, or is that part part of the glamour for you? 
I kind of love the work afterwards, just because yeah. it's almost like it's I also really love staying after a movie and watching all the all the credits. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And I, I think it's there's a zen to me about packing up and wrapping cables and loading the van <laughs> that is very comforting. It's important to you know be what able I mean? to do that. Also. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it. I think if there was, um, I think if there was none of that, it, I would I would be anxious and not know why. You, you wouldn't know? be centered after. You'd be wondering. Yeah, around. yeah. Yeah, and it would be too easy. <laughs> <laughs> it, would, it would be because touring and playing this, it's it's always too easy, really. I mean, or is it also a control freak thing where you, if you were to unwrap your cables or whatever, and somebody else had done that and it was wrong with that? Oh no, that's too, great. We, we okay do have our our tour manager is, is very nice and helps and does uh, you know a ton of stuff. But uh, bless you. But no, that's that's not even it. I mean, I am kind of a same place policy kind of guy. Yeah, just, yeah. but that's mostly because I'm a wild space cadet and just lose things <laughs> constantly. So um, that's more of the reason than the like weird OCD thing. <laughs> I did, however, last night at Numo's backstage. Have you ever been backstage at Numo's? Yes. Do you know there's that VHS collection? Yes. Um, I, I have spent a little too much time in the back of Numo's. I know exactly what you're. Talking <laughs> yeah, about. yeah. So there's this. So I I went to pull out what movie was it we were trying to Ace Ventura: Pet Detective. Sure. Obviously, because it's Obviously, a great backstage sure, choice. Yeah, yeah. And I pulled it out, and it was the Mothman prophecies. <laughs> oh, and I was like, no, this cannot no, stand. No, then I find no, the Mothman no. prophecies. What's in there? Uh, like Die Hard. So then it just led to this domino effect of me being like, I have to clean this scene right now. I'm so happy that I wasn't there for this. <laughs> the guys at Numos right now are like, oh, finally, somebody yeah, cleaned this well, up. Yeah, well, I just would hate for, you know, whoever's there tonight to go in and, you know, want to watch Billy Madison and not be able to find it. it That's not, you know. I know you're heading off to another show, but if you just like to hang out in our library for a little while, <laughs> that would be great. Just start at A. <laughs> And you may oh. not make your show, I think, what, in Boise this evening? Yeah, that's the truth. truth. But it would be so comforting when it was done. <sighs> Man, you are you, it would. Are, you are like me right now. <laughs> I yeah. totally am feeling you on that. Well, I appreciate you getting up early after, you know, the videos and, and everything else. We were there late into the night with those videos. I mean, <laughs> I had, to push, a, had to push set times. I it have was... such a mental image of that now. And people, like, who <laughs> maybe work there and they're kind of looking over at you, like, just leave them alone. Yeah, just let him just, do it. You he's know just what? fine. He's just, you know, he's doing God's work. Yeah, yeah, he's you just they're crazy, and you never know what's going on there. Just make sure he doesn't steal Die Hard, because yeah, just I might do that. Yeah, and it was uh, number one too, not number two or three. Oh no, but, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, that's a holiday movie. Die Hard one's a holiday movie. Anyone who argues differently is just wrong. It truly is. is. It? It's a it's a Christmas movie. I've never seen it. What? <sighs> well, I'm, the interview's over. I think. Uh, I guess to, that's um, kind <laughs> of a, it's kind of a dude centric. Oh, no, really? I, yeah. <laughs> you mean Die Hard? <laughs> I'm so surprised. <laughs> it's been outlawed in my house because I will recite the lines on top of it being a dude movie, on top of convincing my family it's a Christmas movie. <laughs> Woof. Yeah, that's Bam. got it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so, I see where that's going, and it's not headed anywhere good. No, I'm just giving you guys some advice. You should see it, though. It's, very, it's, a, it's a love story, really. It's romantic. Okay. It's very yeah, romantic. Diehard. Bruce Willis. It? <laughs> That's great acting. It's fantastic. Uh, all I right. don't believe you. No, it is. Wait for the wait for Christmas though. <laughs> <laughs> I got to keep this moving because you guys got to get to Boise. Sorry, oh, yeah, you sorry. are sorry. rambling about. No, diehard. no, we're all good. Um, yeah, you guys are busy. You got Boise, and then it looks like a day off, which I'm sure you're doing something on your day off, driving. We're going to go is to the movies. One. We are going to go to movies. Are you? Talking about movies. Yeah. yeah, I'm so excited. Do you know what you're going to see? Well, I'd really like to see Boyhood Me if that's too. in the theater. Yeah. And then I think I want to flip it the opposite of Boyhood and go Guardians of the Galaxy. I think we're going to do a do- doubleheader. Guardians of the Galaxy is great. Yeah. 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 Can you believe it's that good, soundtrack? That soundtrack has just been on the top of the charts. For it's so crazy. It plays a huge role throughout the film, too. So Does it? They use it very well. Yeah. Okay. That's good to know. Yeah. So I'm just telling you, that'd be my, that'd be my pick. Okay. I haven't had the three hours to invest in the other movie yet. It's three hours. Long. Yeah, one well, boy, it lasts a long time. It lasts it's like eighteen long. years. Yeah. Yeah. If you're, so long. If you're gonna take twelve years to make a movie, you should probably make a three-hour movie. If you that's... are, if you don't have three hours of usable footage, that's yeah. on you, really. That is wise. That's... Like an, yeah. See, <laughs> just helping here. All right, you got another song? Yeah, you do oh, have yeah, sure. another Let's song. Do that.
song is great it's just except it needs to be longer i think it could be 10 minutes longer <laughs> i think we'd be okay with it we could just, we could have just kept <clears throat> it looping but I, we're, uh, there's a schedule on the radio here that we <laughs> yeah sort of uh it's great that was one of my favorites of the year we get a ton of requests for it and uh it's just it's a beautiful song so vanessa live here on the morning show and uh great new record as well self-titled you've been hearing a lot here at kxp played last night at numos and heading off for many many dates got another one for us yeah right. we do uh this one's called uncatina Next 
KEXP. <laughs> I'm waiting, man. I'm not, you, it could come back. It's happened to I, me. Yeah. It is so fun watching you two play. It is just, you look like the best of friends. And I, people see that on stage, too. But in here, uh, can't wait for people to see the video. You guys are fantastic. You must, how long have you known each other? Four, four, four or five. Four or five years. Yeah. yeah. And you still oh, seem oh, to like sorry. each other quite a bit, which is <laughs> obvious. We, we do, yeah. It's, um... <clears throat> it's weird when you find somebody that you can spend as many hours as you need to spend with somebody to be in a band with them. Right. And still, uh, you know, have fun. <laughs> That's not a... That is not everybody. <laughs> no, that is not. That's true. We're, we, are, we are able to laugh at each other's jokes. Which That's I think good. Is the... or, or laugh at each other's jokes. That's probably yeah, more exactly. accurate. It's usually me telling... Well, both of us just telling the, the silliest jokes ever. There's a lot of terrible puns in the yeah. van right now. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure here to Boise, there'll be that will. That's when you test. If it's road trips, if oh, you can road real. trip with someone, you're that forever. Is, that is true. That is true. We've got, and we it used to. We used to tour just the two of us mm-hmm. in a in a tiny little car, and and now we're in. A, we're lucky enough to be in a van with a, a tour manager, Rusty. He almost. He's almost the biggest offender. Is that true? Maybe that's <laughs> no. not true. We're still way no, worse. No, it's talking about. us. <laughs> it's always us it's and always Rusty us. being beautifully tolerant. He is, yeah. is there is there a, um, music wise as you're heading on a, on a long trip like this? Is there? Do you have to get along with that too? 
Is there choices? Harry Potter. Battle? Ooh, a lot of Harry Potter. Harry Potter all over. Um, That's, that was what I was thinking. Uh, yeah, yeah, a lot of Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. Sure. Lot, we, I mean, yeah, like two or three. We're a really cool band. Really cool. Really into <laughs> hipness. Um, <laughs> We've got Ace Ventura. We've got, we got Harry yeah. Potter. Yeah. yeah. Harry Potter, Ace Ventura. You know, the classic rock and roll stuff. I'm with you. Um, what else? I mean, what do you. We, what do we it's kind of like, like in life, every, you just have these records that you latch onto for like a tour. Um, we've been listening to. We listen to the Blanco Basnet record constantly. Yeah, we've been listening to a lot of Blanco. There's this band from North Carolina that we love called Blanco Basnet. And yeah. uh, they, uh, their record is just one that you can listen. It's one of those that you can just listen to over and over and over again. Um, we've been loving that one. It grows on you. Yeah, it's Porches. Good. We've been listening to that a lot. Porches. A lot of time. soul coughing. Yeah, really? dude. Yeah. Soul coughing's my favorite band. They still are. They're always great. Really? Yeah. yeah. We've really? had Mike up a number of times for the years. He's... He's a good dude. Cool. Yeah. Have I, you read his book? I've read not it? read his book. I've read his book. Yeah, that's. I've heard it's a little terse. Talk about a band not getting along. That wasn't even a band. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they were like violent towards one another. Yeah. They but were. still, I mean, the. Those as an electronic, are doing a great job. Yeah. They, yeah. As a sampler, as a guy who likes right. sampling, I think Mark Digley Anthony's work on those records is just. It still feels so forward thinking. No, no one's treating it like. Yeah. He treated it. And that was in like the mid '90s. Like, there's so much movement. It's so. It's like he's playing it like a like a jazz organist. It's just such a. Yeah. I still listen to that. And it still feels forward thinking. It's just so cool. Well, I think in a way, being so separate as they were, I sort of gave him that license to do his. Yeah. His thing. Yeah. I mean, he was on his own. He's like, "This is what we're doing," and then Mike would come in with, "This is what we're doing." Yeah, and, exactly. I mean, and some it's some weird con- confluence of those totally. And Ant, you know, antagonistic personalities made this these three amazing records. I just mm-hmm. love those records. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Blake Mills. Blake Mills. Yeah, we've listened to a lot of Very Blake Mills. Important. Yeah. Well, that sounds good. Well, I'm glad you have many hours ahead. Yeah. To do that's West Coast touring right there. And I look at your uh, your tour list. Uh, you got shows coming up: uh, Salt Lake, Denver. Uh, you're through the Midwest as well into Canada again in New York. Sold out shows there. Great to see that. A lot of night, days in uh, New York. Then you're off to the UK. It's yes. So yeah. We are. And that's. Good for you. You like that? You like? Is there a favorite place? Is going to Europe big for you or not? Um, no. I mean, not yet. It's always you always have to tour a bunch of times in Europe before you 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 know actually can do anything. But uh, we've been lucky enough to be over there with Y Oak and with Tune Yards, which has been yeah so cool. Um, yeah, I, I love Holland. Holland's probably my favorite. I, Me I too. come from Wisconsin, and and Holland is like the European version of Wisconsin. <laughs> so that's probably why I I get down with it so much. I did not know that. Yeah, well, you know, the just really unpretentious people. There's everyone's really nice, nice and yeah, it's agricultural, yeah. and everyone's hi, how you doing? And right. do you want a bagel? And you know, yeah. it's like that's kind of the vibe. Well, yeah. maybe, not a bagel. maybe not a bagel. <laughs> maybe a unleavened bread of some kind. Yeah, I yeah. I haven't heard the big bagel craze. Not a Holland. big bagel crowd yeah. over there. That yeah. was a misstep. Yeah, yeah that's all right. Yeah. But I get what you're saying. Yeah, you know Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and a show last night. I'm sure you'll be back to Seattle as well. You got obviously from last night. The crowd was good and you know, oh, good they vibe were last night. They were so great. They were so much fun. Good to hear. Yeah, and we uh, I have to quick thank sure. KXP and you guys. We I, we talked to so many people after the show who said that this was how they learned about us was listening yeah. to KXP, oh, and that's just that means so much to uh, you know bands like us. So that's uh, thank, thank, you. thank you guys so much. Of course, thank you for coming up today. And you got uh, one more for us. Sure. Yeah. All right. Uh, this one's called Play It Right. All right. When the sound. Comes together so close to my face It's no wonder we wonder We're sick and things Oh, I feel like an animal in the night Play it right 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 Oh, if my ears were as big All of your devotion I would be More than a small human with a head Pressed against your mouth in motion Play right, play right Thank you. 
Beautiful. Great work. Thank you. I'm sure not on a lot of sleep either, so I appreciate it. That <laughs> well, was great. It's fun to sing in the morning. It's it's trying session. to keep like seven kittens in one box. <laughs> or like pulling them out of it. <laughs> I can't even imagine. Come here. Come here, note. Get out of here. <laughs> well, you did great. Thank Thanks. you so much. And I hope you get some rest. And I'm, you know, I'm really excited for you guys to have movie day. I don't know. That just brings joy. Oh, to my heart. man. It's going to be so great. <laughs> It just seems like such a nice break. Just you know, I know you up. love what you're doing, but it's always nice to get a, a little break from that. So I don't know. That excited. If it's in Salt Lake, they have huge, comfortable theaters, too, by the way. We found, we're found we in Boise, and we found one last time we were there with Team yeah. Yards. What did we go see last time? Ah, it doesn't matter. But so, it, was a, it was a great place to see a blockbuster. You know, those kind of things? Exactly. Air conditioned. Air conditioned. They have big old yeah. seats. Totally. <laughs> you kind of want to take a nap, but you kind of don't at the same time. Weird soda slash slushies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> really good. <laughs> well, we look forward to that. If you see them in Boise at the theater, say hi. And uh, again, I hope you make it back here to Seattle. You're always welcome here at KXP. Oh, thank you thank so much. You. Uh, and a big thank you to our crew here. I, we outnumber you five to two in this room right now. I like you guys. Yeah, <laughs> they're all right. And... <laughs> They're busy, man. They got a lot of work to do. We yeah, tried to talk one of them into playing drums, but it didn't, yeah. didn't work out. Yeah, I came close, though. I, I appreciate the effort. I want to thank Kevin, as always, making everybody sound good. And uh, everybody who makes these happens. I know we got a little dragon coming by tomorrow. Jay oh, Maskus cool. on Friday. Yeah. What? A lot that's, of people. Whoa, that's so cool. <laughs> no, that's really cool. Two or three a day sometimes. You're lucky, crazy. Seattle. Yeah, it's very, very busy in here for, for good, good reason. And I'm going to turn it over to my good friend Cheryl Waters now here at 90.3 KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listener-powered kexp.org.